Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. I am proud of the American people right now who have decided that they are sick of unconstitutional gun control laws and that mass non-compliance is the way to hopefully affect some positive change. A number of things have happened within this last year and especially within this last week that have shown that people are just fed up that the more gun control is passed, the less people want to be law-abiding citizens, and that the gun control really does the exact opposite of what it's meant to do. If you want to know what I'm talking about, make sure you're subscribed, and let's begin. So you guys might remember with the whole pistol brace thing, and they gave an amnesty registration period to register your AR pistols, uh, or else become a felon. And a very small percentage of people actually registered them. Now, luckily, that pistol brace rule has basically gone away, at least for the time being. Uh, but that was the first real one where I just noticed that people are just sick of this stuff and they decided that they weren't going to comply with the law. And I think, in fact, I even know people personally that were just like, you know what? If having a brace on my gun which the whole reason I had the brace on was to try to be in compliance with the gun laws. If that's going to make me a felon, then I might as well just put a stock on it. And that's kind of the point we're going to get to later on in this video, how all these gun control laws are really going to end up doing the opposite of what they're intended to do. And people are just going to pay less and less attention to these laws. And they're just already starting to do whatever they want. What happened this week is that Illinois' assault weapon ban just was signed by Governor J.B. Pritzker. Prickster, I think he's a prick, right? Um, he signed this law, this bill, into law, and people had a certain amount of time to register their assault weapons, their semi-automatic rifles, like everything that you see behind me on the wall, um, with the government there or else to become a class two felon. It's a class two felony if you have an unregistered semi-automatic rifle in the state of Illinois at this point. This January 1st, 2024 was the deadline. And you know how many people registered their assault weapons? Less than 1%, which means that 99% of the people in Illinois said, you know what, screw this, I'm not complying with your bullshit. The great thing about this is that they even have law enforcement on their side. 75, over 75% 75 of law enforcement in the state of Illinois said that they're not gonna enforce this, which of course, Governor Prickster said that that was all just political grandstanding. And some of it might have been to an extent, but you know what? Police and honestly, everyone in the government swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. And so if there are laws that are repugnant to the Constitution, it is literally their duty to not enforce those laws. So really, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. So these 99% of Illinois gov gun owners that decided not to comply with this unconstitutional law, they've probably got nothing to worry about. And that's the great thing. And the same thing was going on with the pistol brace thing. Law enforcement all over the country literally said they won't enforce this unconstitutional law. I spoke to local law enforcement where I live that said, we don't care what piece of plastic you have on the back of your gun, whether it's a brace or a stock, we don't care. If you're not going out and hurting people, we don't care what the configuration of your firearm is in. The, you know, gun ownership, the right to keep and bear arms is enshrined in the Constitution. It's a God-given right that we are born with. The Constitution literally just tells the government what they cannot do when it comes to infringing upon our rights. It has nothing to do with, oh, you can maybe own this kind of gun, but not this kind. You can't set it up in this way, this, that, whatever. The Constitution literally just says, shall not be infringed when it comes to the Second Amendment. And all of these states and our own federal government are doing everything they can to infringe on our rights. But you know what? It's backfiring on them. Because not only is the law enforcement in Illinois has said that they won't enforce this, but even in California, 
I was just reading this earlier today where California has basically banned concealed carry just about everywhere in response to the Bruin ruling. Um, they just made every place a sensitive place, making it pretty much impossible to legally concealed carry in California. And the Sutter County Sheriff, Brandon Barnes, and the District Attorney, Jennifer R. Dupre, uh, said that they took an oath to uphold our Constitution and will work to protect the rights of our citizens. We have no interest in criminalizing constitutionally protected behavior. And that's in California, of all places. So when even law enforcement isn't on your side and isn't going to enforce your unconstitutional laws, what do you really have left? And this is the dangerous thing for all of you gun controllers out there, is that the more that you try to encroach on people's rights, the more you infringe on our Second Amendment rights, the less people are going to try to pay attention to the law at all. For the most part, gun owners are a very law-abiding group of citizenry. You know, just owning guns in general makes you have to be a very responsible person. And nobody wants to get a felony and lose their rights to own firearms. And so things like pistol braces. People used pistol braces for years so that they didn't have illegal SBRs. They did whatever they could to actually comply with laws, whether they felt like they were legitimate or not, um, as long as they could, for the most part, do what they wanted without, you know, being doing criminal behavior. Well, that is changing now. People are just sick of this stuff because it's gotten so ridiculous that people aren't complying anymore. And where does that leave you? When people decide, well, if I'm a felon for not registering my semi-automatic rifle in Illinois, well, why not drill a third hole and make it a full auto? Why not shorten the barrel down and make it an illegal SBR? If it's an illegal gun anyway, just being a semi-automatic rifle, why not make it an SBR? Why not make it a machine gun? Why not make my own suppressors that are, you know, not NFA items, you know, not legally NFA items. That is the danger that these gun controllers are going to run into is that they have pushed so hard against our rights that people are just going to stop paying attention to these laws. And that's exactly what's happening right now. People are sick of it and they're not following the laws anymore. And these are good, otherwise law-abiding people. They're not people that are going out and hurting anybody. They're just people that believe in their rights. They believe in the Second Amendment and they own guns to protect their homes, their families, and themselves. And this is just one more thing that I wanna read really quick. Cleveland, Ohio. So Ohio passed a constitutional um, carry law, concealed carry law, excuse me, uh, last year. And everybody thought that there was gonna be more violent crime because there would be more guns on the street. Well, that's because they don't understand that criminals are gonna criminal. The criminals are gonna have guns despite what any of the law says. But with more people carrying firearms legally, there's actually been a decrease in violent crime. So it just shows that the more freedom you give people to protect themselves, the better off society will be. The more you try to violate people's rights that are otherwise law-abiding citizens, the more you're just making criminals out of those people because people have had enough. And they're just not gonna follow your bullshit laws anymore. If you like this video, please give me the like button. Give me that thumbs up. Every one of those really does help. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Because I know a lot of people talk about, you know, when I did all those videos about the pistol brace rule, you know, shall not be infringed. I shall not comply. Tons of people said that. And I want to see what you guys think about this because people are putting that into practice and people are not complying anymore. And I think that's awesome. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.